Hey everyone, in this video we are going to check how you can create a basic battle road reward system with Playfab. The player will receive some rewards after reaching 5 victories and then when he reaches 10 victories. The battle road will reset daily at midnight. If I click on the PvP Arena button, it will simulate a victory. As you can see, when I click on the reward, it will increase the gold amount. Currently, you have two options to handle the battle road logic. The first and better one is to do it entirely on server side with cloud scripts. However, it is much more difficult, so now we will only cover the second option. With the second option, we will get data of the battle road for the player from Playfab, but we will calculate the rewards on the client. Of course, it is less secure, but simpler to implement. Let's see the scene setup. The main script is the battle road script. The rewards array contains the collectible rewards. The reward object itself is a visual representation on the UI. It has a battle road reward script attached to it. Here you can set the win counter collect variable and the amount of coins or gold which the player gets after a successful collection. Then we have some other UI elements like a fill bar for the win progression and the time text, which indicates how much time we have left. On the Playfab dashboard, we will store the battle road data for each player in their player data storage. It is basically a key value pair collection, where the key is going to be battle road, and the value will be a JSON object. It has a win count integer, a reset day string, which will be parsed to a date on the client, and an array of booleans which indicates whether the given reward is collected or not. On the client, this is the C-sharp class representation. Next, let's go through the battle row script. In its start, we will call the getPlayerData method. We will create a request to fetch the data where the key is battle rowed. If the response doesn't contain it, then we will call the setData method with a null parameter, otherwise we will convert the JSON response into a battle road data object. The setData function will check the data. If it is null, then we will call the reset daily data. If not null, then we will just simply check the reset date. Since we want to reset the battle road daily, if the reset date's day uh, parameter is not the current day, then it means that we have to reset the data. Otherwise, we will set the UI with the setVisuals method. In the resetDailyData function, we will just simply create a new battle road data object if it doesn't exist yet. Then we will set every value to default and call the update playfab battle road data. This method will just simply update the player's data on playfab. When I clicked previously on the PvP Arena button, I said that it would simulate a victory. This addWin function was called with the button click. Now, when the player has enough victories, he can collect his reward with the claim reward method. It does nothing more than iterating through all the rewards and finds the first one, which is not collected, but you have enough win count to collect it. Then we call the addCoins method, which will increase the coin number with the rewards value. Now, this whole claim reward function ideally should be implemented as a cloud script if you want to decline any kind of cheating. That was all for today, but I am planning to create a second episode for the battle road, where we will handle all the rewarding logic on Playfab as a cloud script.